I want to share with you the three of my favourite lures to use for mangrove jack when I'm fishing pontoons. This is the first one, this is the Lucky Craft um, SP Pointer. And the other two are, this is a Siebel Shiner. You can see that, just a shallow diving lure. And the Gold Bomber. I'll show you how I like to use them. So firstly, just this uh, Lucky Craft Pointer. I like to get right along the edge of the pontoon, as close as I can get, and just straight wind. So fairly consistent, and you're just looking for that reaction strike. So generally I'll give it two casts right along the edge there, and just bring it straight through. And if I don't get anything on that first couple of goes, the next one I'll just stall it. One of the reasons why I like these Lucky Craft so much are because the finish is just so good that in clear water, just stalling it, giving the fish, the jacks, a chance to come up and have a really good look at it. A finish like this is going to get them every time. Check out that finish. It's just so realistic that the closer they get to it, I reckon the more they're going to like it. So that's how I like to use the Lucky Craft pointers along the edges of these pontoons. And this Siebel Shiner, it's got a great tight action and it's really busy. And it dives a lot deeper than you'd think, even with that tiny little bib there. And I love using these if I'm suspending and just twitching along the edge of pontoons for mangrove jack. This is the cast that I go for. You just try and get it right along the edge there. Use your rod to get right in. And then really aggressive, just like this with lots of stalls. It suspends really flat like that. And you just want to keep it right in there against the edge. And the gold ones I really like because in dirty water, they still throw off a lot of light. So lots of stalls and twitches with the Siebel Shine is a good way to go. Well, you can see that this gold bomber's seen a fair bit of mangrove jack action. Let me show you exactly how I like to use them around pontoons. Generally, the angle's different, so I don't do the cast right along the edge like that. I'll go right in across the back and try and get on these poles and just twitch, twitch right from the bank like a little mullet starting to come out off the shallows. And when I get to the poles there, I'll just float it up and let it even come right to the surface and just try and pause it and twitch it around the corners of the pontoons. If you come up to the next side here, so it's really that angle in behind is what you're looking for. And then as you move past an angled cast like this, just onto the corners there. And again, just get it down so it's just under that pontoon and just twitch, twitch right on the corner there. And if you've got it deep and it floats up, the jacks will even come off and smash it right on the surface. And even better if you can work it so it's under the pontoon and floats up into the pontoon. Just remember, if you hook up, you've got to dunk your rod so you don't get snapped off. I've had jacks come and run along the pontoon sideways trying to rub me off with um, these gold bombers. And even B-52s, the Reedy's B-52s, they're a lot similar. So that's how I like to use them. Hope that helps.